were some of y'all favorite artists growing up, seeing that y'all always have been involved in music? Um, my favorite artist was Chris. Okay. Brown, and still is. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. we used to listen to everybody. Yeah, like, Chris Brown is our number one, yeah. like, male, male artist we really like. Yeah, yeah but we, we really like Usher, we like Trey Songz, we like mm -hmm. Beyonce, we like Whitney, we like Luther, we like... Yeah. Mike, Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Neo. We like yeah. Neo. Yo. We, we literally listen to everything, bro. Yeah. Every genre? Yeah, yeah. every genre. Too. Country, too? I like country, yeah. Y'all say, yeah. I like country. A lot of people yeah. don't like country, I listen but... to a lot more stuff than he... He, yeah. like, got his own... But, like, me, I be listening to weird stuff, so the, people don't like to hear my playlist. Because <laughs> it be all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, like, bro, I'm getting in my own car. Because yeah, yeah, you try to play... <laughs> So you say people don't like to listen to your playlist. Tell me some of the off the wall songs that's on yours. It ain't even that it's off the, off the wall. It's just that it's not the average R and B song or like mm. not like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. this trap stuff. Yeah, it's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like the music that you probably wouldn't think I listen to because the music I've made exactly. isn't like <laughs> it's totally it's totally different. Yeah. But I just like different stuff too. Yeah. But he don't be like giving me yeah. to turn on. But I be like, hey, bro, listen to this. This stuff. It's like he like. Nah, bro, turn it <laughs> off. But I'm like, bro, what did you be? This is hard. Right. <laughs> so what was it like uh, growing up as brothers but doing music together? Mm -hmm. Has it been easier being brothers? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier being brothers because, like, you know, people get in a duo, people get in a group, and then it'd be so easy to break up mm -hmm. because, you know, they don't, they, you know, like, it ain't glue there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's so that foundation. Separate, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't even get to talk like that because, like, mm -hmm. it ain't going to happen. So so when it comes down to, to, to the decision, who is the harder one to convince to say, yes, let's do this? What do you um, mean? Like, let's say, hey, man, we need to do this. And then the other person's like, nah, man, I, I just don't want to do it. So like, who who's harder to convince? We be to? doing, like, we, be, we both do that sometimes. Okay. But I think you do it way more, bro. I, don't know. I think he <laughs> just like to say no. Yeah, basically you know what, I mean? what I'm asking, yeah. He like to say no the most. But me, honestly, or we, if he's saying no because he disagrees because he feel like we should do something different. Mm -hmm. But then, for me, I always just convince him because I'd be like, hey, I give reasons on why. So I'd be like, bro, look, this is that. And he'd be like, all right, cool. We can do it. He'd be like, all right, yeah. cool. We, we both do, do that. And we're yeah. different. You know, with different, different ways. We're doing, yeah. Usually, if I say I don't really want to do something, he don't really try to, like, convince me. Like, he don't really try to be like, hey, no, nah, bro, da 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 da. <laughs> he just be like, oh. Okay. Unless I'm yeah. really firm in what I'm talking about, then I'd be like, this would need to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. This why type. So. Got you. Okay, so how old are y'all? Twenty one. Nineteen. Oh, so y'all, so y'all are kind of still young, still yeah. just getting your feet wet and everything. Yeah, we young. So when was, how old were y'all when y'all signed to the independent label? Oh, you was like, yeah, I was fifteen. 16. Oh damn. Okay, I didn't even know y'all was that young then. Yeah. So y'all yeah. started out on Vine, yeah. right? Yeah. So it was like fourteen. Yeah, it was, it was like fourteen, fifteen. So did y'all ever see yourself in this position, starting out on Vine? I did. You did. We, went, we I were did. doing it for a purpose. Yeah, we was doing, we was it, doing for it for this reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. So and then y'all kind of progressed to YouTube, start mm -hmm. getting millions of views, start yeah. doing covers. Yeah. Did y'all feel like covers were the way to go? Yeah. Yeah. We just knew that when you build covers off of, you know, what I'm saying that's how you build your fan base. Because exactly. usually if you don't have a fan base and you just putting out music, unless. You know what I'm saying? God bless you when you just like get one big hit mm -hmm. and then you go straight to the top. People not gonna listen to it if yeah. you're not. You know what I'm saying? If you're just a new upcoming artist, people's not gonna listen. So it's like we're gonna do covers because that's what gets you the fan base. When they mm -hmm. see that, oh my God, they singing this song, they singing just like, or they exactly. singing it better, or you know what I'm saying, just different stuff. Yeah. And so it was like we're gonna keep doing these, build our fan base, and then we're gonna drop our own music. And then that's what mm -hmm. we did. Not our first song, we dropped original song. We dropped original songs before that on Vine, but they was deleted because they were like yeah, they, was they was trash. <laughs> but like our first like official single mm -hmm. was. Breakdown. That was one of the mm -hmm. first songs we ever put our original after we had built ourselves up, like or we was like in the midst yeah. of steel building. You so, know, a lot of people feel like when you go the cover route that you it's hard to break out of that. Yeah, book. but it's not. Hey, yeah. I just feel like if you got good music, you can. Yeah, if you got good music, talent. you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it's it's probably you know what I'm saying is I ain't gonna say that, but like you know sometimes it's just harder. But like you just gotta make sure like 
your own original music is just as good because if it isn't, mm, then yeah. they're gonna be like, I like their covers. Better. And to so be that's honest, one of the things we always if people really look at the covers and they and say if you make up your own make up your own style, your own format for the covers, do you make up something like that and they end up going viral? Obviously, that's the type of format that the people want to hear. No, yeah, the so people that follow right. you want to hear. Exactly. So like make some a song people like will, that. yeah. Some people will do R and B songs mm -hmm. and then as covers, and then they'll put out. Yeah. They'll be doing pop. You know what I'm uh, saying? So it's like your followers. It's with, harder because mm -hmm. yeah. your followers followed you because yeah. they want. R &B. That's just another way to look exactly. at it because it's like you really gotta. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you want your fan base to be yeah. at the exactly. beginning because if not, then when you finally do put out your original music, it's gonna be harder because those. Million people that maybe followed you ain't gonna want to listen. Listen, that that. What you ain't showed them a lot of pop. Mm -hmm. One, yeah. two years you've been doing it, and then you come out with this record that's like, they like, what is this? Like they fell in love with you for yeah, like, 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 who is this? Like, yeah, this not who I like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Definitely feel you on that. So let me ask you this: How do y'all choose the songs slash artists that y'all do covers? Like. I know you got a couple uh, covers that you cover with Usher songs. It ain't really even about the song. It's about, I mean, the, the artist is about the song, yeah. to be honest. No, okay. the song, it's yeah. what fit. Yeah, it's what fit. It's, it's what not fit. about the artist. You know, so when we was doing mashups on YouTube, you know, me, I got like a, that's where we really was like, started like. Really got into yeah, it. Mm -hmm. Got into it. Well, we just started doing full versions of covers, because we've been doing covers for like three years before that, three, mm -hmm. four years before that. Mm -hmm. we, did, we finally had just, but thought that helped us like really start getting a bunch of like millions of followers and oh, stuff gotcha, gotcha. 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 and like we coming up with them it's just i mean we look at the billboard see what songs pop in we mm -hmm. learn them if we didn't know them you know and then we it's just whatever it's just whatever flow like it ain't like oh we're gonna do these so it's yeah. like whatever flow oh yeah. uh, okay because you know? i know when i first came across y'all y'all were doing the mashups for like mm -hmm. three or four different songs oh no we was doing like six yeah, or bro. seven and oh, like damn, each I know one came across and like that's seven. the thing we make sure, like, we was making yeah. sure that it flowed so that, that it, and people would be yeah. like, oh, I didn't even know they switched the song, but, like, we switched up a lot. So y'all yeah, are very bro. talented. Definitely oh, got to give y'all that. Thank you, bro. We appreciate it. Thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was telling you, look, <laughs> <laughs> hey, keeping it 100, though, for real. Because like I was Thank telling you, bro. man, off air, when I first found out y'all was coming, bro, I was excited, like, I was like, these dudes are talented, man. One day I got an interview them, so Thank it's crazy you, that y'all are like actually in the city sitting in the studio with me. <laughs> right, right. So you just signed to Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. I was watching an interview of y'all and y'all was saying um, that Jason Dorello reached out to y'all first. Yeah. How was that conversation? Yeah, he didn't talk directly to us. He talked to our management. Okay. Yeah, he was, it was like, yo, let me. It was really? like, yeah, like, like they want to sign. Bro, we didn't did this interview and they talked about this for 30 times and you talked about me. Bro, Did I he say that in the interview? You said he said in the interview. Bro, I didn't. I don't remember that. Yeah, man. He reached out to the management, and then the management called. Like, yeah, Jason. Jason was hot trying to sign y'all, and then because that's how Warner jumped on it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Jason was trying to sign it. Then Warner just came and took it over. Hey, that it. that's so funny though because in the interview that I actually you know heard that he had that same uh -huh. exact reaction. He looked at you and was like, uh -huh. "Bro, really? I never knew that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> What do uh, your head be? Nah. <laughs> bro, I just don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't know at all. Yeah. At first. And then, so now every time you hear it, you just. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> but then again, I'm like, you are you going to remember that? Like, for the next interview? I'm gonna nah, remember, right. No, I'm going to remember that. See, now that I messed up, I'm going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, and I also heard in that same interview that y'all said that um, <clears throat> after the independent label, Things kind of didn't, well, that ended because things just didn't go right. And right, so y'all yeah. was kind of just scared of labels. Right. Why is that? You know, we just, you know, it, we just was, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, we just went through like a little, like a little tough time, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it was just a learning experience, yeah, honestly. Man. We honestly so was we, giving our all in that, into, for, you know what I'm saying, for it to play out, okay. played out. It was kind of like. Yo, we not doing this no more. Okay. Now yeah, that, so then we just was like, we want to be independent. Yeah. Or we felt like we wanted to build ourselves um, enough until we can get a deal and be able to exactly. say, okay, we want this, this or we want to change exactly. You know what I'm saying? Versus them saying, oh, no, y'all either do this or you're not getting a deal like at all. bottom of the barrel type. So, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? Yeah. Then yeah. It worked out because we was able to get what we wanted out of it. You know what I'm saying? Which that, stuff that's that the main wanted. thing. Mm -hmm. That's what we really was working our way up to because we knew we wanted a deal because... The type of artist we want to be and how big we knew we it requires a deal. Requires mm -hmm. a deal. Eventually, like we gonna need some help. 
So, but we just wanted to work our way up. So that's why we started with the covers. We just started grinding mm -hmm. real hard and stuff. And that's the big thing, just knowing from the jump or even soon after, knowing where you want to go. Like if you have no plans, or no goals of where you want to go, then you're just out here. Yeah, it's, like, just, it's like trying to get somewhere without a GPS that you don't know nothing you're about. Right. You're going, like you're gonna you're gonna make some like you're gonna make the wrong turn. So around what time did y'all know we wanna do this serious? We wanna, you know, be signed and just really beginning. be known. From the beginning. From the beginning. From the beginning. Like, we weren't doing this for play, like as kids like that's just been a dream regard like Always. Right, you know how people be like, yo, we just always. was doing a song and we end up like, hey, yeah, never like it's that like always been like, it was always serious. So, with y'all, you know, that, that situation with the independent label and y'all learned a lot from that situation, what's some advice that you can give an upcoming artist? You know, I would just regarding say, regarding labels, mm -hmm. you know, like just make sure you got a lawyer, mm -hmm. you know, to look look stuff over, don't just sign anything because you don't know what you're getting yourself into, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, especially yeah, if you ain't got exactly. the money to get a lawyer to try to help you get out of it right. and you really in something you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so just get a lawyer you know what I'm saying make sure your deal is correct make sure it's really something you want to do because it's, you know you just never know yeah so you yeah just gotta make sure and it's always yeah. an ass of fine print yeah. Yeah. yeah and like honestly no situation is perfect and I've like grown and like you know what I'm saying like I understand that now no situation is perfect you always go through something even whether like how we worked our way up to where we was able to say you know what I'm saying our deal was, you know what I'm saying, yeah, good enough for us and stuff. I yeah. mean, stuff happened, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just different, so I would just tell people, like, don't expect everything to be perfect. You're going yeah, exactly. to go through stuff, like, no matter how perfect the situation was or is, you know what I'm saying, you're going to go yeah. through something, nothing is exactly. just perfect, that's just what we have learned.